Welcome to Cybersecurity Matters, the podcast where we explore the ever-growing importance of protecting our digital world and discuss the latest advancements, threats, and best practices in the field of cybersecurity. Australia's largest port operator, DP World, recently faced a significant cyber attack, prompting authorities to declare it as a nationally significant cyber incident. This attack resulted in considerable disruptions to port operations, leaving cargo stranded for days and forcing the closure of ports in Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, and Perth. Approximately 30,000 containers were affected, causing major concerns within the Australian port industry. While some progress has been made towards resolution, With DP World Australia gradually resuming port activities, the restoration of operations across all ports is expected to take more time. Even though the ports have reopened, key Australian exports may still experience delays due to the aftermath of the attack. This incident underscores the growing vulnerability of critical infrastructure like the maritime industry to cyber threats. Therefore, it emphasizes the need for strengthened cybersecurity measures in the industry. Next on our Google News agenda, the question of SMS 2FA security alongside strong passwords. Although many consider the use of SMS 2FA, two-factor authentication, as a supplementary layer of security for digital accounts, questions are now raised around this practice's reliability. Research reveals that despite a potent password, SMS-based authentication remains susceptible to hacking. Bear in mind that SMS messages can be intercepted or spoofed, an unfortunate loophole that could lead hackers to gain account access. Therefore, we recommend considering other authentication methods, such as app-based or hardware-based authentication. These alternatives boast enhanced security plus backup options. Switching topics, we highlight the link between email security and device safety. The question is, can hackers infiltrate your device through your email? The answer, regrettably, is yes. Successful email hacking can be the launch pad for cyber criminals to compromise other devices linked to that email. Armed with your hacked email, hackers can forward malicious links or attachments and secretively install malware on your device. With this in mind, it's essential to safeguard your email with tough passwords and multi-factor authentication to diminish the chances of hacking. In other news, Google is taking action against fraudsters in California exploiting the fame of Google's generative AI service, BART. These dishonest individuals deceive users with promises of the latest BART version only to trick them into downloading harmful malware. Additionally, they misuse Google trademarks and use Facebook promoted posts to lure unsuspecting victims. In response, Google is pursuing legal measures against these scammers to shield users from this malicious endeavor. Now, a glance at the healthcare sector reveals escalating cyber threats jeopardizing patient privacy and well-being. As an increasing number of medical records go digital, the industry's exposure to cyber crimes also amplifies. Patient information theft not only encroaches on privacy but also potentially puts patients' well-being at risk. Hackers could exploit this vulnerability to tamper with medical records, alter prescriptions, and even disrupt vital healthcare systems. To counter this, the healthcare sector has to proactively tackle these cyber threats and invest in formidable defenses to secure patient data and fortify healthcare service integrity. Finally, we highlight a recent Linux vulnerability impacting Google's kernel instances. This one-day vulnerability allowed an intruder to exploit all three Google kernel instances concurrently. While specific exploitation details remain under the hood, it serves as a reminder that even well-established tech giants, like Google, are not entirely insulated against potential security breaches. Events like these reinforce the importance of constant monitoring and timely patching of vulnerabilities to sustain our digital infrastructure's security. That's all for now on Google News. Stay tuned for updates and insights on the latest trends. In recent police updates, Australian authorities are in the midst of investigating a substantial cybersecurity breach at a port's operator. The investigation process is underway and the full circumstances and consequences of the incident are yet to be reported. This situation continues to be a central matter of interest for both law enforcement and the public. Alongside this, a sustained security alert in Ma'ara has resulted in the evacuation of an unspecified number of homes. The nature of the threat is currently not divulged, with measures being taken by officials to assess and handle the predicament to uphold the safety of the residents. Simultaneously, law enforcement averted a conceivable crisis in Tel Aviv by stopping a planned stabbing incident. Two Arab teenagers were caught near Sabater Central Railway Station, moments prior to executing their harmful intentions. Such situations underscore the perpetual hurdles faced by the police in preserving public safety. Furthermore, a similar security concern led to evacuations in another location, Nuri. The reasons prompting these evacuations are under investigation, mirroring the circumstances seen in Ma'ara. 
the officials across both regions are striving round the clock to mitigate these security issues effectively. Updates on these ongoing incidents will follow as officials continue their diligent efforts to resolve these matters, ensuring the sustained safety of those impacted. Thank you for joining us today as we delved into the ever-pressing world of cybersecurity, highlighting the importance of staying vigilant and implementing effective measures to safeguard our digital lives.